Hello, I'm Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Monday mukbang. Unfortunately, I was going to do it yesterday, but there was a huge storm here in southern Ontario. Well, it wasn't everywhere, but it was where I was, and it was causing havoc and mayhem in my area. And uh, I'm going to apologize for the shakiness of my car, too. It's just, it's one of those cars that shakes, rattles, and rolls. Someday we'll get, uh, we'll be doing these in a Ferrari. Just kidding. So today on Ken Dom at KBD Productions TV, Mukbang, uh, I'm gonna do my favorite things here at McDonald's and uh, we'll have a smorgasbord of food. I haven't, uh, I haven't eaten lunch. It's about 10 after two in the afternoon on a Tuesday. Like I said, I was gonna shoot this yesterday but I was coming home from the cottage and the storm was crazy and I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. So uh, I thought I'd get out here today, shoot it today, put it up today and uh, keep you guys entertained. Cause this is what you want. A lot of people want the mukbang. So there's a, this is definitely one of the slowest McDonald's around. Very, I don't know what it is about this McDonald's. This is the one in Bradford, Ontario. And it's like, do I go left or do I go right? I don't know which way I should go. So I thought I'd do all my favorite things here at McDonald's, and that includes the McChicken. I'm gonna start with a McChicken meal. So the McChicken and uh, fries and a, and a Coke, no ice. And uh, just, there we go, put that back up. And then I'm gonna do also do the Junior Chicken. So our Junior Chicken is the United States regular McChicken. So I'm going to just show you the difference between the McChicken here and the Junior Chicken. Uh, then I'm going to also do a Big Mac, six McNuggets, and the Chicken and Bacon Signature McWrap. Those are my favorite things here at McDonald's. So we're going to order them all. I'm going to go to the right lane because the other lane seems to have dissipated or is clogged. <laughs> Not dissipated. So there have been many things and we're going to, I'm going to probably knock this whole mukbang off before I even get my food because of this lineup. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen cars ahead of me. So I'm the car ahead of me needs to order, then I can order, but there's a very long line after you order picking up food and paying for your food. Anyway, so there have been videos in the past where I talked about my favorite things at uh at McDonald's but two of the things that I used to love at McDonald's they don't sell them anymore number one is the pizza so my son and I drove all the way down to the southern part of Ohio to get probably one of the last pizzas uh, known to man because I believe now they've completely dis, uh, discontinued them there are only three restaurants in all of North America all of the world that sold the pizza still and it was Orlando Ohio and West Virginia so we drove to Ohio is the closest spot I apologize if the wind comes across that mic Welcome to McDonald's. We'll be with you in one moment to take your order. hi there what can I get for you hi uh, could I do the McChicken meal coke no ice and a, just a, just straight up Big Mac, okay. Junior Chicken, okay. six McNuggets with honey, and the uh, Chicken and Bacon Signature McWrap with crispy chicken, please. Okay. Thank you. That would be it. Th thank you. Thank you. Thirty dollars and eighty cents. Good thing I went to the bank today. We'll get out our fifty. Our Canadian 50, that's what our Canadian 50 looks like. You can actually see through this part. It's just a transparency of plastic. I believe I was told that the Australians invented it. It's kind of like a polymer or a poly whatever plastic. So you, you actually can't rip it. I wouldn't want to try it, but and there's also braille on it. There's like raised little bumps so blind people can, uh, the visually impaired is the, the correct term, and uh, they can feel the bill and, and find out which, which bill it is. And uh, there's a whole bunch of 
safety features in it so it's way harder for counterfeiters to uh, counterfeit you know that took away some some poor guy's business of counterfeiting just kidding it's illegal people all right so like I was saying Ben and I went all the way down to Ohio to possibly eat the last McPizza and uh, another thing way back when was called the McDLT and it was back in the day when they used a lot of styrofoam at McDonald's so they had it was a divided thing so it's almost like two sandwiches put together this way the the, the container and so they, they said the hot stays hot and the cold stays cold so the the uh, patty of beef and the bottom bun were on the left and they were in the hot section and then the lettuce tomato and, and top bun and whatever uh, was in the other section and then they put it and when they made it and they put it into the thing they actually had this side heated and this side uh, on a bit of a refrigerant I guess and uh, so when it, while it was waiting there waiting for you to order it um, it's the hot stayed hot and the cold stayed cold and then I guess people were complaining way back when uh, when they put I guess McDonald's made their sandwich and by the time you got in your car and went somewhere then the the, the tomato and the lettuce were heated by the beef and of course the beef was then cooled by the thing so they thought it was a cool idea and it tasted amazing a lot of people remember the McDLT I wasn't sure if it was in the States or not probably was because I think there was a commercial with Alexander whatever uh, the guy from Seinfeld George from Seinfeld he was uh, did a, a uh, McDonald's commercial probably way before he was on Seinfeld and he sang the song and uh, but the hot stays hot and the cold stays cold the hot stays hot and the cold stays cold yeah I know that's what we do here on mukbang Mondays seven minutes so far since I clicked the light of the start on this like I said this is the slowest McDonald's I think I've been to and again I don't know why they've got it's a brand new McDonald's and they designed it really well so that you know lots of cars can be in the queue and they've got two spots to order and then it goes together and then you can order I mean pay for your food then you move to the next window pick up your food but uh, there's something lost in translation I'm not sure what it is now we've got one two three four five cars ahead of me and there's a car waiting so there are two amazing things I used to order from McDonald's all the time when they had it and uh, once they were gone I had to move on to something else I've always loved the Big Mac I just don't do it too often like maybe once a year maybe once every two years uh, or when I'm doing a food review like that today and uh, I love it it's good I'm gonna eat it with the pickles in it too just for you guys I'm not a huge pickle on my burger kind of guy I'm slowly over time liking pickles on certain things the uh, the KFC um, was it called the Nashville hot chicken that's one of the first times I loved pickles on some food uh, the, the tanginess of the pickle on the on the chicken and the sauce they use works perfectly but a pickle on a burger to me doesn't work I don't like that tangy crispy green slime thing on my burger so um and then for years i always ordered the mcchicken it was just it was probably like the number two on the on the board of when you used to order by the number i said combo number two coke no ice and that was it easy done i do have another little quick story when i went to uh, i used to d do courier for my parents and uh, they used to love giving me because I like I like long drives as opposed to drive there drop off drive there drop off drive there drop off like you know, I didn't like that and uh, so I love the the long distance uh, deliveries so I had to deliver something to Ottawa and then on the way back from Ottawa to Toronto uh, there's a, there's a town or a city called um, Kingston and so there's McDonald's there and they're one of them they were one of the the test McDonald's for the for the McPizza because I remember driving past once and seeing McDonald's pizza or McPizza signs I'm like are you kidding what and that turned out was one of the things I love forever um, still do I wish they still had it it would be amazing I don't mind waiting for it I don't know why I took my wallet out the person in front of me their window is frozen shut so they have to pull up forward open the door pay <laughs> they're gonna have to 
course, their door is right on the building. Gonna wreck the paint job. And it's a Land Rover LR3 V8SE. If you know your Land Rover numbers. I, I, I definitely need to get a new cell phone holder for my, my cell phone because it just slowly, even though I've cranked it super tight, it's weak and it just slowly tips over. Um, yeah, so I was, went, I had just enough money. I don't know if I spent it on something or whatever and I didn't, just before, way before I had a Visa or a bank card. And uh, so I drive into Kingston, get my McChicken, and the only thing I could order is the McChicken and a water. That's how broke I was. And uh, as I was leaving, at that moment, I was that broke. Uh, as I was leaving, it was the styrofoam ones. I, I stupid ass me holding it by the top, the bottom open, fell on the ground. And I just, you're so embarrassed by doing something stupid like that, that you almost want to just pick it up, throw it in the garbage and then starve the rest of the way home. But I'm like, you know what? I am so hungry. I'm going to beg and plead and, and ask for their forgiveness. And I just went back inside and said, sorry, man, I dropped it. Hi. Hi, make rib and make chicken uh, I know this is the $30 order. Yeah, $30.80. Okay. There was no McRib. There wasn't a McRib on there, was there? Sorry? You didn't say McRib, did you? A McRib. Oh, a McRib. I think you said a McRib. No. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't think they had those right now. No. I apologize. No worries. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and now that Land Rover, she's picking up her food with the door open up against the, the building again. Damn it. Why would that happen? Sorry about that, people. If the camera fell off the windshield, I hate when that happens. It's a brand new suction cup thing too. This is the one of the, one of the things I wanted for Christmas in my stocking from Ben. He's like, "What do you want for Christmas?" I'm like, "I need another suction cup thingy for my camera." And it's brand new, but the windshield's so cold that the suction cup just doesn't want to stay there. It wants to be in the tropics. Hello. Hello. How are you? All right, how are you? Okay. And the bill's in there? Uh, I think I put it in. No, yeah, where I put it? Oh, oh thank you. You're welcome. You too, bye. Hey, people. When you make money on YouTube, you can write off the stuff you use for your YouTube. Some of you will think it's wrong. Some of you think, that was a good idea and yes it was a good idea okay uh, I'm just looking for a parking spot let's park here I'm gonna park over two lot spots because this is lots of parking and if I park over two spots then nobody can park right beside me all right here we go oh yeah we gotta do that take off the seat belt throw that there put the seat back just a tad just a tad so <coughs> number one let's go through the the bags and see if they got everything right now that, that better not be just one napkin did they see how much food no they gave me three napkins for all that food we got the big mac well you know what the other thing i wanted to order and i forgot it's just the regular hamburger i love the mcdonald's regular hamburger it is fantabulous. Yes, that's a word. So they gave me three honeys. I only really need one. I don't like I don't like drown my chicken McNuggets. Let me know in the comments below. 
what uh, what sauce you like for your McNuggets. Oh, when when my son and I did a review of the uh, the McWrap here, uh, yeah, I did the chicken and bacon McWrap. When we did that, it was just like I ordered that probably for the next couple months or more. Anytime we needed to go to McDonald's to grab some food, it was always the McWrap. Total go out and get it now. Let's see if these fries are hot. Nope. That one on top wasn't hot. The next ones were. Mmm. This is going to be a feast, people. Total feast. I'm going to try and tell you some stories. I'm going to try and finish all this food. I don't think any of my, my mukbang so far, I've finished the food. And I'm, I always try to cover, because it's a talking show and I'm eating, I try and cover my mouth when I can so you don't see the food in my mouth. I apologize. Then I just do it. I think, I think that's a, one of the biggest complaints. about these eating shows as you can see the food in your mouth some people don't care or I care and you'll notice in a lot of my videos I'll put the food like this while I'm talking to show you the food and to hide my mouth <laughs> mm. gotta be the most ordered fries on the planet it gotta be. I'll put that there for a minute. Have to <clears throat> always angle the uh, rear view mirror at my mouth so that I can see if there's uh, dangly things hanging from my beard. How do you like the hat? How do you like the shirt? I have I have a store online and you can order these. I have a, a spread shirt and a teespring. Take your pick. And I think this is on both of them. Both of them. Okay, let me do the the McChicken. Because I would say out of all the things I've ever eaten at McDonald's, I've probably eaten more McChickens than anything else. So and and back in the day. When I, when I did just regular food reviews, people asked me to, to do the McChicken. I did the McChicken, and they're like, that's not the McChicken. Because, again, I get way more people from the United States watching my, my videos than anywhere else in the world. So, And they're, my, they're our neighbors to the south. And so I made a video about the difference between our McChicken and your McChicken. So this is our McChicken. So the Junior Chicken comes like a regular hamburger, and it kind of looks like a regular hamburger size. And then the McChicken, which has, I, I would say, it's it's dropped in size considerably. I would love to have gone back in the day and weighed that 10, 15, 20 years ago, and then weighed it today. I bet it is like two ounces smaller. If anybody works at McDonald's has been around that long, please tell me if I'm right or wrong. But it definitely was bigger than that. So that's our McChicken. And this is our Junior Chicken. See the difference? It's a bit thinner, the Junior Chicken, and it has a spice on it. And our McChicken's a bit thicker for, uh, for our regular McChicken. Let's go. And it just has the mayo and lettuce on it. Mmm. See? Not sure if they've changed the recipe too. I don't think so. They may have changed the oil in which they used to cook it. So if you're an American or anybody else in the world, when you come to Canada, try the McChicken because it's better than this. 
Look like a snot. Although, if you like spicy food, this is better than that. It's just really small. When I used to uh, buy the McChicken all the time, I saw that this was on the menu and I just never ordered it because I just thought it was the junior size of that for children. Until I bit into one of these, I'm like, you would not give that to a child. I think most kids would spit that out. Because it's spicy. Mm. And I'm not saying it's bad. It is awesome. But if I'm hungry, make chicken sandwich all the way. When I was putting together the blooper video, for 2017's bloopers, one of the blooper reels, or one of the bloopers I put in, well, when I was eating the uh, the giant Big Mac, or the giant, yeah, the giant Big Mac, and how messy it was, and it was just sliding apart, it was just too much mayo on it or something, I don't know what it was, it just fell apart. I just remember how annoyed, annoyed I was, trying to eat it, trying to make a video, and yet it's falling apart. Mm. Lovely. I'll go back, <clears throat> back and forth between the McChicken and the Chicken McNuggets next. Again, guys, just keep your comments going tell me what stories you want to hear again it's all about just entertainment really I, I, I prefer this over reviewing the food because I'm I'm 100% not the best re food reviewer in the world I, I can't bite into something like Paul mm. Paul's been a chef for so long that he can actually bite into something and tell you pretty accurately what it's made out of and what spices they used and how they got to that end result. I can't do that. This whole channel started with the food reviews of me just eating something and telling if you I liked it or not. Mm. That's how it all started. And people just kept telling me to shut up, eat the food. Mm. Almost tastes like Chinese food. Chicken balls. I was hoping to keep this video under 30 minutes. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. About 24. Mm-hmm. Maybe if there's a lot of talking at the beginning like there was today, I'll pin a comment to the top with a link to the when the actual eating starts. Do you like that idea? I'm so glad I had a very small breakfast. Just a bowl of uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Mm. Last nugget. See? Only use one. Just a hint of honey. Mm. 
some people who have never tried it think it's gross. Try it. I guarantee you, you'll like it. That's why uh, waffles and uh, chicken and waffles went so popular. Fried chicken, waffle, syrup, it just works. It's down the hatch. That's something stuck right here. Mm. Saturday was minus 32. Which, uh, degrees Celsius, which is about minus 25.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Very cold. I think they say your skin can freeze in about 20 seconds at that temperature. You can get frostbite very quickly. Hear a car revving. And that rammed. Again, my favorite thing about doing these mukbangs is they're kind of stress-free. Don't have to worry about saying the right thing about the food. I'm only ever going to be eating food that I really like in my mukbangs. I'm not going to go out and order something possibly that I've never eaten before. I might let you know it is possible I'll order a bunch of things that I like and then try something new and then tell you if I like that or not. This is my fifth mukbang. I started a playlist and put it at the top of my channel. Twenty seven minutes. Uh oh. Mouth is clean. I've been watching other mukbang channels. Some people keep them. <clears throat> it's like 15 minutes. Some people 20 minutes. Some people 55 minutes. This depends on what they're eating, I guess, and how much they talk. Mm. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Is that annoying? I can see that being annoying in a movie theater. Sitting behind some people. Shut up! I can't hear what Luke Skywalker's saying. All right. I'm gonna just gonna like take a couple bites, excuse me, of these. I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish it. Was that a good Big Mac? Does that look classy? Or does it look sad? Is it a sad Mac? Or a Big Mac. Oh my goodness. Getting some of those burps out. It really helps. <laughs> I think one of the main things that makes 
McDonald's hamburgers and Big Macs. Which is a hamburger. Tastes as amazing as they do as their onions. Just the combination of everything. Hmm. My my hat is just slowly sliding off my head. Mm. I like the Big Mac sauce, but if you ever get somebody who puts too much on by accident, somehow it's a little annoying. Now the Junior Chicken is a dollar ninety-nine. The McNuggets were five forty-nine. The Big Mac was five thirty-nine. That's crazy. The McRap was five eighty-nine. Let's take a bite of that. Got these little tabs on the side to let, I guess, whoever's cooking it know, or I guess whoever's grabbing it off the the ordering tray, which one to grab for which customer. There you go, crispy chicken. Yep, I want the crispy. We got the bacon, tomato, cheese, lettuce, and ranch. Mm-hmm. Nice soft tortilla. Oh. Mmm. I think that's another good thing about this. If you're driving and you want to eat, it stays in a nice little package for you. Burgers and stuff, all the stuff falls out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tastes different. Not sure if it's the lettuce or the the tortilla. Does McDonald's only have one kind of tortilla? It looks like it's a regular white soft tortilla. Mmm. Lots of food in there. The other thing too is I've got these lights. And they usually only last about 35 or 40 minutes. Made sure they were charged. I was going to show you what it looks like without the, the light. It just fills in nicely, right? My hand was over it. It's January 2nd today. On the way here, on the radio, all the fitness places are, have got their ads on. because of people eating large quantities of food for, through Christmas. I asked for hmm. How was your New Year's, by the way? Leave a comment. Did you party? Did you low key it? Just, <coughs> just you and your spouse, you and your boyfriend or girlfriend. Just watch TV. I spent New Year's with uh, my wife, her mom and dad, 
my mom. And uh, we played Pictionary and we had fondue for dinner. Mmm. I could possibly eat all that. I just don't want to waste too much more of your time. I know my channel is growing slowly, but we just finally hit the 342,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for everyone who uh, is supporting this channel by subscribing. But it would be amazing within the first six months to 12 months of 2018, we hit 400,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. Uh, just, I just gotta keep plugging away. It's very slow right now. YouTube isn't uh, featuring us as much. I'm not sure if it's because we're older channels or they don't wanna promote the fast food stuff anymore. Because other fast food places are, some channels are doing still pretty good. Anyway, guys, uh, should I, I kind of don't want to disappoint you, and I kind of want to eat everything. Right through that pickle. Mm -hmm. I still eat half the mac. <sighs> I'm like buzzing right now. All that food and sodium. Mm-hmm. That's it. Following it. I'm trying to keep it under the 40 minute mark. <laughs> It'd be good to know over time what would what's the ultimate time frame for a mukbang mukbang mukbang. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2018. Thank you very much for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoy this. I would love to do more of these where I go to uh, Burger King and eat a bunch of things that I like and share that with you. Uh, Wendy's, KFC, um, Taco Bell, all like the big chains. And uh, just share more stories with you like I'm doing now. So once again, thank you very much for stopping by, watching the video number one, clicking a thumbs up if you liked the video, thank you very much, and leaving a comment. And letting me know what you did on New Year's Eve, what you did this whole holiday, uh, if you went somewhere, if you stayed home, if you exercised, if you ate a lot of crazy foods like I just did. Oh, I'm so full. All right. So thank you once again. And we'll talk to you again in another mukbang. Cheers.